gave myself as a spiritual approval warrior. And so this morning I woke up uh, with the sun, before the sun actually rose by the same time, which has become abnormal for me. I've been sleeping in, caring for a baby, doing a lot of a lot of things that, that have you know been new and energy using. Either way, this morning I was up and immediately out of the house and at the temple of the group. And at that time I got to the temple, the sun was just rising and the moon was still clearly visible quite high in the sky. And it was it was quite impressionable. I felt the energy of the of the two cosmic bodies that most define and control life on on this planet and our experience, our ability to experience and hold together the the collective experience that we have. Really just being there for me. And um, so I just I just let I let the the mood give me the intuition into the how and what this temple actually was after thousands hundreds of years in ignorant time and possibly thousands. Thousands of years, up to sixteen thousand years in real time, if they're Lumerian temples, like I believe them to be. Uh, a whole bunch of Kuma Yoga came out. Uh, a lot of basically, it was basically the temple I learned was actually was a training ground for people to become Puma warriors, and this doesn't mean just like guerrilla warriors on the battlefield. Um, this is a spiritual energy as well. It is definitely a second chakra energy, but also pulled from the root chakra, adds to the third chakra, powerful uh, understanding of the method of pulling energy into existence and bringing it to that manifest form. You hold the energy um, spinning within our second chakra as just positive and negative, forcing, force. And, and this spinning actually creates, creates various, various aspects of our body aspects like our bone system, uh, our thought system, nervous system. So this spinning creates the impression of what people might understand as the, the air element. Basically, give my salutations to the sun on this kind of platform around giant rock at the bottom of the temple. Um, was really like just kind of saluting the ultimate power that exists for us to, to um, connect with and uh, accepting that ability to connect with that and that, that the connection exists and the energy transfers. And so that's how it connects with, with the root chakra, this whole Kuma Warrior thing, getting sun energy which is reflected to us from the earth, it still comes in through the root chakra. It's, it's material, but it's, it's sun energy, it's light energy. This is a very, very um, high-end energy to absorb light energy. Uh, you could contest that it is the highest of the energies, but Always and never is highest and lowest really should not be in our 
belief system because that limits reality and that limits ourselves. So, I did those sun salutations. I uh, got the in, in, opened the connection, made the connection with just receiving this force, this energy of light and heat from the sun. And then I moved up to do various balancing acts on these thin rocks that, that rounded up towards this point where then I did this kind of uh, like low it down so using like the hip kind of a balancing yoga thing before jumping having to jump this this gap uh, from one rock structure to another.